let me start by saying that we should never create text before we know our intended plot scale. That's because the plot scale is going to dictate the, uh, how large our text is going to be when uh, our drawing is printed on a sheet. But fortunately, if we know our plot scale, uh, AutoCAD is going to do most of the job for us. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create predictably sized uh, text. On my screen, I've got a, an architectural example here, uh, and I'd like to add some uh, labels uh, to these rooms. But before that, let's take a look at the this uh, tabs here. And as you see, I've already added a, a layout uh, to my drawing. Let's see what's the scale of this layout here. And uh, let's zoom a little. As you see, the scale is 3 eighths uh, of an inch is uh, one foot. But we should uh, make sure of that. So I'll double click in that area. And yes, it is actually 3 eighths of an inch is equal to a foot. So I'm going to double click outside that and zoom out. Let's go back to the model space so we could uh, create our labels. And before that, there's a couple of questions here. What type of text should I use to uh, make sure that uh, my text appears readable uh, when I print it on a sheet of paper? How large should I make my uh, text so it is readable on a sheet of paper? Well, let me give you those answers and uh, let's see how that works. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to the annotation tab and create a uh, text style. I'm going to click that and here. As you see, there's a room labels that I've already made. I'm going to delete that for now. Uh, there's a couple of uh, other text styles here, and these are being used by the uh, title block. So we're going to make a new text style and I'm going to call that room labels. Okay. Now I'd like the font uh, font name be Arial and the font style be bold and size be annotated. I'm going to click this and notice uh, that there's an icon for this annotative has been added to the side of this room labels name. Now uh, that is there to tell us that it's an annotative text style and it's going to be changed according to our plot style. And let's give it a one fourth of an inch and apply it and close it. Now we're ready to create our labels, but uh, we have to do one more thing before that. We have to come down here, and uh, this is called the annotation scale flyout. And from here, as you see, there are uh, some engineering and uh, mechanical annotations here, and down here are some architectural ones. In this case, that we're using architectural, we're going to uh, specify this uh, three eighths of an inch equals to one foot. Now, let's select the single line text and create our labels. I'm going to press enter, accept that. Let's type bedroom, accept that, and uh, let's launch that and create one more here. going to create one more bedroom label for this bedroom here and instead of uh, doing that manually we're going to copy this. Notice as we uh, hover on this there's the icon of annotative text uh, right there appears. So I'm going to launch the copy there. Let's 
website let's paste in the URL here and put it here great now we're done here we're going to go back to the layout right there and as you see our text uh, are very easy to read. Going to zoom a little here. Let's uh, take some measurements. Going to launch this measure distance. And from here, measure this to here. As you see here, it's uh, one quarter of an inch. Let me uh, do that uh, once more going to exit this launch that once more and from here as you can see it's one quarter of an inch going to press escape exit that by using annotative we can always be certain that our text always be a consistent size and our plots regardless of the scale we use on uh, for our drawing 